many seizures are not caused by epileptic brain activity. These used to be called pseudo-seizures, but that term's being chucked out because it sort of implies that all these patients are deliberately faking. Some of them are, but others have really profound non-volitional psychiatric conditions that they aren't in control of. So the new term is non-epileptic seizures. Pushing benzos or loading a patient with other seizure meds is never without risk, so it makes sense to see if the patient is truly having an epileptic event. If you aren't sure, try squirting a seizing patient in the face with a flush. If they grimace, their seizure is almost certainly not caused by epileptic activity. The good things about this test are that it is cheap, safe, and fast, and it can spare the patient from being exposed to dangerous drugs and procedures like CAT scans or even intubation. The bad thing about this test is that it looks really mean. Do not do it with a smirk on your face and do not laugh, especially if family members are present, because they can definitely take it the wrong way. <laughs> Kids and some adults are terrified of fluorescein strips. They think you're going to give them a paper cut on the eye or something. So in these cases, you can take a flush and dribble some of it onto a fluorescein strip and then aspirate the liquid back in. Once you've repeated this a few times, you'll have a huge amount of fluorescein tinted saline in the flush that you can simply drip over the patient's eyelids while they're closed and then tell them to open their eyes a little bit. Some of it will get in the eye that way and you'll be able to do your fluorescein exam much more easily without people freaking out and screaming as much. <laughs>